taking a look at one today out of North Olmsted, Ohio from Fatheads Brewery. This is their Headhunter IPA. Comes in at 7.5% ABV, 87 IBU. So I've had this uh, a few times in the past, mainly at beer festivals. But this one here is a past award winner. Um, it's indicated here on the label as well that you can see on the award winning side. It makes mention of the awards this one. And then here, a little bit of a write-up that they did, kind of about the beer. So either of those spots, you can you can pause if you want to go back and check it out. But um, let's get this baby open and get it into a glass and see what it has to offer. Poured that one a little aggressive as you saw got a little bit away from me there so i poured a little aggressive on the back end which you saw there ended up getting a little bit more ahead as far as the body as it settles down has a nice golden color to it very clear so pretty good clarity as you can see there right through to the other side do have some streaming bubble action which obviously you want to see as those gases are being released as well trying to get a best position for you but you can see the bubbles going to work head came out to be a large foamy head that sits uh, pretty much dead on white it should leave some nice lacing behind as it starts to break down a little bit nice aroma i do get the grapefruit uh texture coming out of here getting a little bit of a tropical type feel getting a little bit of that um bitterness from the hops also picking up a nice little bit of dankness in there as well very traditional smelling ipa for the american version a little bit of a, like a tangerine in there as well and just that uh fruity fragrance we have become accustomed to as far as the taste well you do get the bitterness in play you know i mentioned it has that 87 ibu you do feel it in your chest a little bit you do get it a little bit on the back end but it also has a smooth quality to it and it's got a nice balance i am picking up a little bit of the uh, malts in there also so it's not all hop forward as one may expect nice burn on the tongue a little bit of a uh, syrupy type texture you get that pine feel in the mouth as well as some of the fruitiness not overly fruity at all just a little bit of kind of that grapefruit you get a nice little dryness that you get with ipas usually you get a little bit of an astringency factor in there off of that dryness not as much mouth tingling action taking place with this one but you do get a nice little duration of the flavor body itself sits pretty much as a medium body nothing else really jumping out as much it's like i said it's got the nice traditional quality with it it's a nice solid ipa for what you would kind of expect for this category i believe but it's not something that's going to i don't want to say amaze you but if you think of some of the traditional type things you would want an ipa this one definitely encompasses all of that you could definitely sit and enjoy this for a while not have to rush through it and it leaves a nice little presence behind as well texture very solid uh carbonation sits very nice not over carbonated at all and the feel to finish is fine like an ipa you expect it to be a little bit of that rough feel as you, as you swallow and drink it down and that definitely does uh provide that as well so all in all a decent traditional type ipa if you're an ipa fan you may have had this chances are if you're in the ohio area or indiana area you probably have I believe they distribute to both of those states for sure, um, down here in Kentucky as well. Uh, I'm not sure how far they go outside the region, but they're pretty uh, well known at a lot of the festivals. People will know who Fatheads generally is from a lot of the ones that I have been to previously, although mainly those have been around Ohio and Kentucky. But a nice, uh, a nice beer that uh, fits the IPA style very easily. So if you've had this before, let me know what you think. Put some comments in the comment section. So there you go. The uh, Headhunter from Fatheads. You can check the description to see my rating on this one here. But uh, yeah, a nice, a nice, uh, well put together beer. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. I look forward to catching you guys next time. As always, keep drinking those good craft beers. And remember, there's always time. Get your beer on. Cheers.